point to encounter consistently throughout Nintendo's experience for E3. That theme is transformation. Recently, Mr. Iwata has made several announcements on how Nintendo itself is being transformed with expansion to universal theme parks, mobile devices, and our new dedicated game platform, codename NX, which we'll tell you more about in 2016. Today, our purpose is more immediate, to focus on the transformations you'll be enjoying right inside your Nintendo gameplay in the coming months. If there's a secret to the longevity of Nintendo franchises, it is transformation. We never let them stand still. There always has to be something new, something compelling. And that even applies to the game Super Mario Brothers, which is celebrating its 30th anniversary in 2015. To say he's been transformed over the years is obvious. But along the way, he's also transformed gaming, from establishing the platforming genre on the NES to the 3D world of Super Mario 64. Later this year, Super Mario Maker will take the next step by turning the essence of game creation over to you, our fans. Now, players will become creators as you build your own Mario levels that can be shared globally with friends. And who knows, maybe even I'll be playing and of course beating your latest creation. Finally, nothing in our history has transformed our franchises quite like Amiibo. And as you'll find out this week, there are more new Amiibo on the way and more games for them to inhabit. In fact, right now, let's see how Amiibo are about to show up in a totally unexpected way. So at this year's Nintendo Digital event, the team put me right to work. So I'm pleased to be here with Karthik Bala from the Vicarious Vision studio at Activision. And Karthik, we've got some great news to share. Yeah, so you know, the hallmark of the Skylanders franchise has always been deliver brand new innovation and the highest quality game experience. For the first time, we're bringing a whole new toy category to life. We're bringing vehicles to life this year with our new game, Skylanders Superchargers and really blending it to this epic vehicle adventure. But there's more to it, right? We've got two unexpected guest stars. So introducing turbocharged Donkey Kong and his vehicle, the Barrel Blaster. We also have Bowser. This is Hammer Slam Bowser and his vehicle, the Clown Cruiser. Bowser is always my favorite. I don't know why people say that I look like Bowser and at times act like Bowser. <laughs> as you're playing as these figures, as you have the, the various vehicles, what happens? So they have complete move sets and upgrade trees of, um, of powers and abilities, some of which are natural, things that you would expect, like Donkey Kong throwing barrels and Bowser slamming down his hammer, but also really unexpected moves that harken back to elements of lore within the 30 years of history of these characters. What else can, uh, can these figures do? If you put the figure on a Skylander's portal, they act as a Skylander, but you can twist the base and switch it to Amiibo, and it can be used as an Amiibo in another Nintendo game. So again, these characters, these vehicles, only playable on Nintendo. So as you go through this collaboration with Nintendo, a company that is very protective of its franchises, that always likes to have total control, what was that like in terms of working with us to bring these fabulous experiences to life? We're such big like Nintendo fanboys, and you know I think we may have been a little too cautious at first. We wanted to have a form of Bowser where he became really big, and you know we pitched the idea of using Giga Bowser, and they and uh, and this is when the Nintendo team said, no, 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 do something different, you know, something new, and we created Magma Bowser, right. you know, who's never been seen before, and you know this his his fire breath just becomes this insane flamethrower. We we wanted to uh, <laughs> set the Koopa on fire, and uh, and they said use dry bones. Right. Right. And so like dry bones and they said, well, here's all the material for dry bones. And it was just, you know, building on top of that. And uh, we just didn't, you know, we didn't think that we were going to get away with all of this stuff. 
Karthik, thank you so much for sharing this information. And throughout the entire week, we're going to be sharing more and more information. You and your team are going to grace us at Nintendo Treehouse Live, and there's going to be a lot more information to share. I'm super excited. Fantastic. Thank you. Mm. I wonder what's next.